Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? Back again with another video. Alright, gameplay uh, dive today. Um, man, I hate to always be the... Don't want to say I was right, but everything I made in my previous videos, talking about what to expect in Madden 25 when it comes out, compared to college football, all those things seems to be holding true. One of the things I did say was... Um, which they said in this thing it was like a it was like a line that was just kind of just thrown in there and I think a lot of people might have missed it when he said jumping linebackers are returning in Madden so say that one more time jumping linebackers are returning in Madden so you know what that means with defense 4-3 four, 3-4 three, three, four are now viable defenses again when it comes to the passing game um, they were only really effective against the run in the past, but if they're returning for 25, we can use it down the field without have to worry about people throwing passes over the head and not being able to jump. So they said it during this gameplay, which is actually very, you know, nice to hear. And I did say, if you want to play a more casual, arcade style game, college football 25 was the game for you. For people that really want to play more competitive, this is going to be Madden. I said Madden was still the king when it comes to simulation football. Even though people want to, you know, say, oh, NC, see, uh, college football is out. It's the death of Madden. I'm like, you guys don't understand the history of the video games when it comes to EA. Like, Madden is where it started. College football is always taken from Madden. Yes, they've invented their own play style, which is fast and loose. You know, which is, a, which is good, which is like a different variation from what Madden provides, but it started with Madden. Everything that's in the NCAA today derives from what Madden does. Back in the day, NCAA used to get features from Madden. So in other words, Madden would come out with a feature the next year to implement college football. It used to be like that for years. For some reason, I just think people just forgot or something. Or they forget that EA makes the same game. It's one company. Because I don't, I don't, I don't know. People are just strange like that way. So the whole talk about college football is the death of Madden, it just, it just makes me laugh. Because <laughs> when it comes to the M MCS series or whatever you want to call it, it's really going to be held with Madden because Madden is more of the more competitive game game style. You may not like their, their style of what they call sim, but that's where the competition is going to be. You can't use college football as a sim game because of the disparities between the teams. You're going to have to play Alabama and um, uh, Ohio State all day, every day. This is the, the top five, ten, top ten teams would be the only viable teams out of 137 teams. So, um, I mean, like I said, watching the game and the things you can do, the throw tra trajectories, the revamp passing is being brought into Madden. A lot of people are saying that, you know, I think in the comment section of this video, somebody was like, they're like, yeah, they're going to have everything that's in college football is in Madden. It's just Madden has some new features added to it that's not in college football. So you have the boomstick, it's another boom tech. That's not in college football. It's in Madden. You might see it next year in college football, but it's not in college football right now. Um, to be ability to, to throw a high pass to the sidelines press aggressive catch to jump up and get it. And then while you're coming down, press possession catch try to stay in bounds. You can do that in Madden. You can't do that in college football. So you can basically like call for whatever kind of catch you want at any time during the play. So you can throw a high pass, jump up and catch it by the sideline and see that you're about to go out of bounds and then push X button to try to stay in bounds. So you can usually use two different catches in one, in one single play. That's a new thing that's in Madden that's not in college football. So I mean, like, you know, but, like I said before, the thing, the cool thing to do is hate Madden. If you are a pro content creator and you say anything to right, that right here, here's what I'm talking about. He's talking about it right now. You can jump up, catch the ball, hit X, and try to stay in bounds, which you couldn't do previously, but it's definitely a good feature to have now. And those are just little things in this video that people just kind of miss. If you're not really paying attention to the, what the background commenters are saying, you're going to miss certain things like that. The only thing I don't like, though, is I don't like the fact that they remove whip routes from the audible. So you got to, like, really have to be in tune with your playbook, so plays that you call. Because, like, a lot of people like to play man blitz, and I'm even watching some college football. People are showing how to you know, do the mud blitz, double gap blitz. 
and being the ability to be able to have a whip routes definitely helps deal with like certain blitzes. Right now, you're just gonna have outs and ins, and they, they put the post right in the auto post. So it sucks that they removed it because it helped with those man blitzing defenses. Um, you know, it's just something we gotta like change and get kind of get used to you know, in this game. But from what I'm seeing in the gameplay here, compared to what we played in the beta, it's not it's not even close. Like what we played in the beta isn't this. This is how the game looked in the beta. You know, initially the first uh, release of the beta, we weren't even getting the real players. The second playthrough, we kind of got how the characters looked, uh, but we're using Madden 24 rosters. And I'm looking at a lot of some of the graphics on here, like the, the kicking is different now since they brought back the kicking meter from NCAA. Um, for what I saw from the leaked Madden, because uh, I think last week Madden 25 was leaked, so you can like kind of pre-download it and play it so somebody streamed it. They changed the Kiki Mita style. The way it looks is a little bit different. Right here they're talking about uh, trajectories. Uh, there's more emphasis on the bullet pass. There's more velocity on the bullet pass from what was said in the video. And because it's going to be using the revamp system, you should be able to throw bullet law passes easier. Uh, on those corner routes. So corner routes is going to be a thing again this year, just like it is in college football. Everybody's throwing corner routes on literally every play because we have now in your audibles. And I'll say this here because, you know, it's, it's kind of like I'm like a mini historian when it comes to Madden. They removed post routes to the sideline years ago for a specific reason. So I'm guessing they're banking on people being able to switch stick to try to compensate those routes to the sidelines. Which is going to be the thing this year is defending the sidelines. If you're going to be able to have uh, kind of like a slant to the sideline and a deeper post, I feel you're dealing with two 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 routes going to the sidelines now, or possibly three routes with different levels since you can route them. You can have a five yard post route to the sidelines, a ten yard post route to the sideline, and a freaking twenty twenty five yard post route to the sideline. Which one are you going to defend? So. Like I said, we'll see if that stuff doesn't break the game. Because there's a reason why they removed it in the past, where they didn't give you the ability to, to run post to the sidelines. Like, you know, kind of basic, I just at a slant level to the sideline years ago because the defense couldn't cover it, so they removed it out of the audibles. And it just technically removed it out of the game completely. So this year is going to be the first year that it's kind of slowly kind of being brought back with the route stems. So you can have technically a post, to the, uh, a slant to the sideline, basically. Now. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, the only thing I like, I didn't like that it shortened the quarters. In the beta, they gave us four minute quarters. Out the stays at five minute quarters. Um, and we're gonna see how the defense plays. For what I've been seeing in terms of like um, the match defense, this is in this particular video they're gonna show you a match defense playing trips off of cover three court, uh, cover three match, which in the previous match it wouldn't have matched correctly. You can only match it correctly if you're using quarters, but they use the cover three match here to, to cover that um, the, the trips play. Which if I if, if I get to it here, I think they even highlighted it. I'll show it to you. Which was you know it's really nice. You know, I, we didn't really get a chance to test how match played in the beta because they didn't give us match in the beta. We had to play drop zones in the beta, so we never saw match at all in any in any capacity. So when I said in, in the beta, defense was not existence because the match wasn't there. And everybody would run the same kind of plays. That'd be generic zones, and you couldn't match certain uh, routes because it just wasn't in beta. So here's what I'm talking about. So three trips is playing cover three defense on you. And watch the middle linebacker do three record. Take the inside guy off of uh, this is off of cover three, which wasn't happening before because Rick never took the inside guy. You had, to, you, you had to use quarters and use the back end safety to be able to match the inside guy. So, I mean, it's nice that you can now run it from multiple different formations. So, just imagine if I come out in a cover three and I'm playing cover four, or I'm playing cover four, but I'm in cover three and matching that. You know what I mean? So, it's nice to see them carry the way they're supposed to carry. And the biggest thing that, I, you know, the biggest thing I got out of this video, if almost every information in this video has already been heard before. The biggest thing I got out of it when I said anything about linebackers, I was like, Man, we've been asking for that forever. Here's the trajectory I was talking about a second ago. Um, but to be able to use linebackers now, it's use it's dividends. So like if I'm in a, if I'm in my red if I'm in my red zone, 
I'm not scared. Of, I'm not scared to use linebackers. Yet. If they can jump up and just you know intercept the ball, just play football. That's the only thing. Because you know, there's a times where you're playing people and the scheme is to run, run, run the ball and play action. You to death. And you guys saw when I streamed when I had to use Nickel over G and they're just run inside zone against it and they have big alignment and they're pulling up and beating my safeties that I have on the field because I have to play against pass, I mean, uh, play against the pass and I have to deal with drags. So it's just nice to see them bring them into the game. So it changes a lot for everything. So I'm kind of excited, man. It's a new field, new Madden, new season, a new Bears team. You know, we just got to see what online provides. Like, what are we going to get online? Are they going to reduce the time we're playing? Are they going to be four, four many quarters? Are they going to leave it back at five with a time one off? Because. And then the defense. We see how the defense really excels, how people use them. Some of the changes that they've made, how is it going to affect overall long term uh, playability of the game? Is it going to be a high score game? So it's a lot still left on the table. Um, based on what we've seen in college football 25, like, so you can't really compare the two because they don't, they're not going to play the same. It's just things in the game that's just not going to be the same. This is just how the games are built on what the intended audiences are. So. It's similar, but not similar in a sense. You know what I mean? Here he's talking about all these different celebrations you can do. I uh, to like turn the ball over. It's kind of nice. <laughs> it's funny here when he says he likes seeing it, but when he happens in real life, sometimes he gets tired and he doesn't even run downfield to celebrate with his team because he just, he just wants to get off the field because he's tired. So, but it was interesting watching this though. Just as you know, if you've played the beta, you know what I mean. When you watch this, there's a lot of different. UI things has changed and the way the players look on the field isn't how it seems a little like the game is cleaner now as opposed to what we saw in the beta if you were just playing the beta and based the game off the beta you would delight a lot of people because it's not just what's being presented here it seems like it's almost a complete game now you can see like they've incorporated a lot of things that's missing out of the beta so it's a little bit of a more refined finished game that seems like to me then when we got in the beta. When we got in the beta, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know about 925. But then I kind of saw college football, and I was like, well, if we're getting half of what's in college football, then, yeah, it's going to be a better game. But then now when you see it live, man, like, oh, okay, all right, they did change what I thought they were going to change. Like, the graphics are more refined now. Like, the players look like the players in college football. The graphics are enhanced. So it's kind of like, all right, that is what I expected. So now it's just earning the game using the new features that's been introduced and just see how the game plays uh, or in general i don't know how many minute quarters they were playing but still it was a high scoring game i mean the first game i think both of them scored close to 40 some points but i don't know how much quarters they're using it's five or six minute quarters i have no idea this is an offline game um, we're not going to see what the online setting is going to be till the game releases, so we're still waiting here it's just using the, the switch stick uh, I said it's going to be a risk and reward to it. So, but we'll see, man. But <laughs> I still got to say, man, all this college football is going to kill Madden. It's just funny. Man. And it's funny that people say it inside of a Madden game. So, in other words, you're interested in it because you're watching a Madden video saying college football is going to kill. Like, why would he kill it? Like, it's the same company that makes these games. Let that sink in your head first. Like, Madden makes both games. Why would they let one fail? It's crazy. What, what was crazy talk. Really so, but um, I can't wait, man. We're down to how many days now? About nine days or eight days left, about a week left before the game drops. So, um, so you're ratcheting up, uh, ratcheting up the channel with uh, football content, and it's gonna be a lot of things to cover. So, until next time, fellas, I'll talk to y'all later. All right, one.